Hi, welcome to this video on Shortcuts for Automation Studio. First of all, let's build a basic hydraulic circuit. We'll simply drag the pump. We'll drag a pressure relief valve. A four two-way directional valve. A double acting cylinder. Once the components are placed on my sheet, to make the connection between them, all I need to do is position my cursor on one of the red dots, let me zoom in a bit, and you will see that the cursor will change to a target sign. So to make the connection, you simply hit the left button of your mouse once, you let go the button, then you click again on the other connection port. So you click, you let go the mouse button, and you click again. Let's connect the valve to the pump. And now I want to connect my pressure relief valve directly in the middle of this line. So here I'm going to get my target sign. But when I get to this line, I don't see any target sign here to do the connection. In this case, you double click on that line. And that will automatically insert a junction like that. Okay, let me zoom out. Let's now bring in a reservoir. Let me zoom in again a bit more. You see that we have two red dots. These are the connection ports. You can also put them one over the other to make a connection. When I drop it, it's going to become black, meaning that it's well connected. Then if you pull on that reservoir, you will automatically generate a line between these two connection ports. Let's zoom all components. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my return to tank directly down here. But I don't like that it goes too close to the pump. So in order to make 90 degree turns of the line, you simply hit the button. So click here, click, and click. All these lines can also be modified. If you click on this line, you see you have some squares in the middles. If you click those, you can actually readjust the path where your line goes. In order to either add components or just make it cleaner before printing. Also, if you move component around, you will see that they stay connected. That really helps to actually add components or just when you need to move a section of a drawing, you don't need to remake all the connections each time. And then you can simply click on the line and to readjust them the way you want. When drawing with Automation Studio, you can directly also bring components, drop it on the line, and it will automatically connect. Let me show you. Let's zoom in a bit here. If we take this flow meter and directly from the library, we drop it directly on this line, it will automatically connect into the circuit. If I move this component away now, the lines follow also. If I erase this component, the line will remain there. Okay. One thing important, if you bring this component and you drop it on your drawing first, then, then you take it and you drop it on the line, you see the dots are red, meaning it's not connected. Therefore, if you want to connect them, you hold down the shift button while you move this over the line and it will automatically connect into the diagram. The other feature of the shift button is also to disconnect component. You said before when we move this away like that, it stays connected. But let's say you want to remove it from your drawing for any reason. You hold the shift button down, you click and you drag, and you will automatically disconnect the cylinder. Okay, let's bring it back here. Something important to notice also in simulation is that the if I simulate now, you see that all the lines are never going through any symbols. If you have a schematic which you see a line going through a component, this means it's not well connected. Let me show you an example. You see that the flow meter now is well connected, and if for example, I would have 
bring it like that without holding the shift down. You see the dots are red. If I launch a simulation, you see it's going right through the component. This is a good indication that something is wrong with your drawing. Okay, so let's put it back correctly. So I'll hold the shift down and drag it in there. Also, when you draw an automation studio, you see that we have connection ports, which are currently black circle or filled black circle. When it's filled, it means that there's three hoses connected to that point. And when it's empty, it means there's two connections only. Let's add one connection between this point and this point. Now you see they're both filled, meaning three hoses are connected. Okay, so this is a way of knowing that something is wrong. For example, if a student's made a second line here, then you say, okay, why is this circle filled? Meaning three connections are there. You can hit the hose once and delete this one, then you realize that there's another one behind it. When drawing an automation studio, there's features of zooming in, zooming out, and panning also, which can be triggered easily with the keyboard shortcut. For example, if you want to zoom in or zoom out on a specific area of your schematic, you can actually go into View tab and select these features. Or you can simply hit the Control key, keep it down while you roll the wheel of your mouse. That zoom in and zoom out. And we zoom in where we point the mouse cursor. So when you have a big schematic, it's easy to actually hit a zone and zoom in on that zone. If you want to move your component, if you want to pan your diagram, you press on the space bar as you click and you move. This makes it easy to navigate and actually make some changes quickly on your drawing. And to zoom all, you right click and then you do zoom all components. Automation Studio is a Windows-based application. Therefore, all the shortcuts that you're using in other application apply also to Automation Studio. For example, if you right click on the cylinder, you go copy and then you just go paste. You can also do the Ctrl C, Ctrl V feature. So if you select the cylinder, you hit Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And it will paste the component where you point your cursor. Okay. One more thing. If you move the cylinder by hitting the Ctrl key, you see there's a plus that just appeared beside the cursor. And once you let go, this will automatically make copy of the cylinder as well. Many shortcuts are available in Automation Studio to help you draw faster with the application. We also have a PDF document that is included in the user's guide, which explain all these shortcuts. So we recommend that you can print these shortcuts and have them near you while using the software. They could be very helpful. Here's also a list of the, the F keys to actually open and close some of the important windows in Automation Studio. For example, the Library Explorer is F9, Project Explorer F8, and etc. With the software, you can also navigate on icons to actually see a tooltip. So if you go home and you go over Library, there's a tooltip explaining what this icon does and you can see here that the library explorer f9 is a short key the catalog manager is f6 so these appear automatically automatically when you over the components for example if you go to edit menu and you go rotate position you see over rotate it's Control h for example automation Studio is also based on a ribbon bar configuration and Windows automatically define short key for all these features as well. For example, if I hit the Alt key, I'm going to have some shortcuts here. If I want to go into the Edit tab, I press E. Then if I want, let's say, to trigger the coordinates and orientation, it's LN. So I press LN and you see this window just appear. So these shortcuts are automatically created by this ribbon bar feature. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.